Hey, thanks for visiting me here at www.scottnelsonandson.com. As part of my how-to series here, I thought it might be interesting if today's video showed you how I handle a caricature order from start to finish. So let's get to it. And a person recently emailed me a photo of an of a employee, here he is right here, who's going to be retiring from a bank. Often a customer will say there's 15 or 20 things that he or she is interested in. Can you work it into a drawing? Um, but this one's unique. They only asked, gave me two. I guess he is a fisherman and a hunter, and um, probably more a fisherman than a hunter. So they lean, lean me toward that direction. So my right first thing I want to start doing is thinking, well, where can I put this gentleman? Um, I could have him on the side of a, a river or you know a lake, hands out fishing, on you know, a log maybe, sitting there. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, but it's probably, because it's limited, with not a lot else going on, well, I was thinking maybe maybe having a boat. So that's the next thing. Maybe kind of draw them for an angle, looking down on the boat where you can actually see inside of it. Why inside of it? Well, I thought maybe if there was other things to be included, like the gun, um, you know, an outboard motor, and of course him, it would give me more area to look at. Why I say that is because you can draw various angles of boats, of course, Let's just say I drew a boat this way and you know had the gentleman sitting here. You'd only see his upper torso and the side of the boat and nothing inside of it, which is okay. Um, I just think because this is a limited drawing, we might want to go with something a little bit more elaborate. So before I started the video, I came up with a different sketch here. And again, you can see inside the boat a tackle box. Maybe put his, a shotgun or a gun right across his lap. Um, have him holding a fishing pole. If, no, if you notice as well here, I kind of leaned him over. I was thinking maybe have him, I'm not sure if I'll go that direction, but lean him on, a, or his, on his hand unless he's, he's relaxing, you know, elbows up, just enjoying the life that is soon to come. I also considered, well, what about the, they asked me to include the logo of the company in there, the bank. Well, I could do that in one, one of a number of ways as well. I could have maybe have a, a fish coming off his, his line here and holding a sign or inside an inner tube sitting there and laughing at him. Um, you know, maybe what I'll end up do though, doing though is just put it on the side of the boat. Might be a little less obtrusive. You know, right there, an SS Co-op, I guess that's the name of the bank. But with all this extra room here and not a lot to fill it up, I was thinking, well, I'll probably put a wood scene back here. See, this is the dimensions of my drawings. Maybe back here, I'll put a deer or something like that, you know, peeking over a bush, laughing at him, or, you know, a ha-ha moment. Might be cute, we'll see. So there we go. There's my sketch, and um, next thing for me to do is to transfer that over to some illustration board and start painting and finishing it. All right, well, I would just want to show you what I've done so far. Um, I treat illustrations or caricatures like this almost as a layer cake. I took that sketch I showed previously and, and transferred it onto my 11 by 14 inch drawing board. And I started off by painting the sky first, then my tree line, then my beach here or my shoreline, added my deer, and then went with my water. Okay, nothing's finished at this point, but I just want to rough it in there. And um, you can see I took some liberty. I added a yeah, nice thing about when a customer says, do what you want, and kind of dangerous. I can have fun with it, but I added a, a fishing pole to my, my deer's, hand, deer's hand here, and uh, maybe I'll have him tie up the boat or something, or around the fisherman, we'll see, I um, haven't got there yet, but um, the reason I treat an illustration like this as a layer cake is, if I was to paint the caricature or the portrait here first, I then have to worry about painting behind him and being slow, especially with watercolors or a water-based media, you really got to paint quicker than you're probably used to, or at least be fast and spontaneous with it. If it was an acrylic or an oil base, that's not a problem. Probably could slow down with no, no issues. But as a layer cake there, I can basically, if there was any sort of a bleed into this area, I could then cover it up. You know, that's a, which is a nice thing about this material. So my next step will be to work on the body and the face, make those, those colors really pop. So he stands out more than anything. And then I'll put the rest of my details and frame it up.
So as I'm finishing up the drawing here, what I'm trying to think of besides a likeness, a good likeness, is to put in the elements of shadows. I really think the contrast of light and darks will make certain things really pop and jump off the page. You know, the weeds right now, I've picked a light source directing from upper right to the lower left. And so I would always, all my shadow work underneath here would really make things stand out a little bit better. Um, those are things I'm really doing at the very last minute here. It's interesting to me how until it happens, the, to me a drawing is always very boring and flat and I just can't wait to get through it. Um, but right now as I'm doing it, it's um, starting to come alive for me. So uh, next time you'll see it, it'll be in the frame and ready to go out the door. But um, certainly if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. Post your questions on my website or on this YouTube account. And um, I hope you enjoy it and ask as many questions as you want. I'm learning every day and I've been doing this since 1987. It's the finished piece, all framed up and ready to go out the door. There's the subject, and here's the final.